Is that the kind of thing that you'd like to go to? What's the most... I remember, I wonder what's the most FOMO event of the celebrity calendar that people are like really, you know, oh my God, I'd love to go to this kind of thing. Like, I, I don't really have any, to be honest. Um, most of the celebrity events look a bit dead to me for the most part. Met Gala looks like it's actual fun. It looks like people have an actual good time for the most part. You know, let's take pictures in there. Oh, you can, but, you know, it's a little bit more private. People are a little bit on, not less on guard and all that malarkey. Um, people look like they get fucked. So that'd be quite fun. Um, they search you quite thoroughly, though, I heard in there, innit? You can't actually take anything in there. I heard they search you, like, super thoroughly. Uh, I'd imagine people still take stuff in there, but, yeah. Anyway, let's see here. Let's get this started. Let's get this screen bigger. So, number one, let's check this out. Who's this? So, it's Lady Gaga arriving, looking wonderful as per usual. I thought, I thought her free stage outfit uh, deconstruction as she walked up the stairs was fucking awesome. I fucking love that. I live for that. I think that whole entire show was great. Well, she's got the assistants there with the umbrellas. Nice to see. Anna Wintour, of course, there in her signature look. I like her dress too. Looks very nice. You got, is that Cher, right? Yeah. What's Celine Dion? I've got which one it is. It's, which is which? I don't know. Don't blame me. Lovely dress here by this young lady. This looks fucking beautiful. Um, who was that? Who's that coming like this? I forgot who came in like this with this Egyptian sort of thing, with, like, hoisted up. Who was that? I forgot who it was, but it looks fucking incredible. Uh, you got Jennifer Lopez here and her husband hanging out, doing the damn thing. Jennifer Lopez looked fucking gorgeous, to be fair. She looked incredible, incredible, like stunning. The diamonds, the hat, like just wow, 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 wow. Incredible, incredible. Um, I think um, is it A Rod right? Is it A Rod's husband or whatever? But um, I think Kid Sue is fairly, you know, fairly cool. I think for the dudes, it's always a bit difficult for the dudes in this sort of events because for the most part, you don't want to go too extravagant, too glammy glam because you know essentially you're going to be you know hanging out, drinking, having a dance, talking to your boys at the event. You don't want to look too, you don't want to be too uncomfortable. Um, during the maybe during the fundraising event, you don't want to be too uncomfortable. And trust, not everyone gets changed for the after party. Some people just have the same uh, outfit on the entire time. So I get the I get the hesitancy for some of the dudes to go over the top, but I would like a little bit more. Come on, man, try a bit more different. Try, you know, get get a bit more expressive. But I guess you know, if you're a Jennifer Lopez, dude, you know, maybe letting her kind of go out and show out and be the fucking you know, um, the extravagant one in the couple is probably the best thing to do. And then you just, you know, have your little nice uh, pink uh, suit jacket on with a kind of velvet lapels kind of works out really well. And then you got here, Cardi B, obviously, like looking wonderful in her dress. I thought that looked really, really cool. Her assistants all decked out and Tom Brown was amazing too. In my opinion, I thought that looked fucking gorgeous. Of course, there's Cardi B on her phone, browsing the social media, getting off on people. I love that she just start, started ranting about people just on the red carpet at an event like this. Right? It would be fucking incredible. <laughs> um, uh, this is... Is that, is that Why do I never recognize people anymore? Gwen Stefani, right? That's Gwen Stefani there looking amazing, bedazzled and awesome as she usually does. She never looks bad, really, for the most part. Kylie Jenner looking gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh, Jared Leto, you know doing what Jared Leto does, just being, he's like the male version of Taylor Swift, not Taylor Swift, um, Katy Perry, isn't he, at these events, like, he just, you know, he just does the most, and, you know, whatever, man, I think it's all Gucci, I'm not sure what the head thing is all about, but, you know, let Jared Leto be Jared Leto, he's a bit, he's a bit of an eccentric in that regard, fair enough, um, you got, you know, um, Nick Jonas, and Jonas and uh, Chaprika, whatever lady woman is, and they, I forgot her name, I wonder if they're going to do another wedding, imagine if someone, <laughs> oh, yeah, so she said they had another wedding on the catwalk, <laughs> they renew their vows again you know they're always doing a fucking wedding <laughs> but i like his suit though i think he looks great i think he's wearing i'm pretty sure he's wearing um what's his face um kim jones for dior right that's what the kim jones for dior did where that like, sort of like got that kind of scarf that tucks in i'm not sure what the shoes are but i'm pretty sure the suit is kim jones by dior i'm pretty sure um go again here we've got this model i forgot her name as well uh, I don't know who this young lady is, but she looks fucking gorgeous. Love that outfit. It was really, really nice. Love, 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 love. Uh, you've got Tiffany Haddish here being taken down the stairs, carried by a young, handsome young gentleman. I'm pretty sure she was happy about that as well. Uh, another great look here. I'm not too, not too sure on that look of the latex. Not, not really for me. You got is it Jordan Dunn? Is it Jordan Dunn? Right. I think that's Jordan Dunn. 
She looks fucking incredible in that outfit. Wow. Looks like metal, isn't it? Fucking hell, that's awesome. Like a rose. Uh, you've got here, um, Ez, what's his name? Um, Ezra something. He looks amazing. That makeup is so fucking peculiar. Wow. If you can't see the video, he's essentially got eyes covered all over his face, makeup wise, on his cheeks. His actual eyes, one in, to, in between his temple and two above that. So he's got one, two, fucking hell. Seven eyes. Looks incredible. Everyone seems happy there on the red carpet. The whole red carpet thing on at the Met Gala is a bit weird, though, no? Am I the only person that thinks that? Um, essentially, you're going to go stand at a red carpet event, take pictures with celebrities who are going to a party. It's a bit strange, right? So you're shouting out, Kim, 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 over here, over here, picture of me. It just takes a picture of you. Cool. Enjoy the party, Kim. Thank you, I will. It's like, strange, isn't it? No? Standing in front of an event or of a party wishing people have a good party and you're standing on the outside it's a bit strange that but i guess if you're a super fan of celebrities you'll do just about anything to go there and i'm sure some some of the people that are at this event have been invited by met gala to just you know bring an atmosphere and have people there cackling out front i'm not sure it's, everyone there has actually traveled to go and attend it but i don't know man. i don't know if the i don't know i couldn't i could never do that sort of thing Again, I don't care for celebrities as much as some people do. Maybe that's the whole reason why. I guess if it's an interest of yours, similar to sports, right? Similar to some people that go out and watch maybe five-a-side football or something. It's the same same sort of thing. You don't know these people why you're watching them play football, right? I don't know. But I find it very, very weird to stand, to kind of stand on a red carpet behind, um, you know, behind gates, shouting at your favorite celebrities, hoping that they can see you and they can come over to you and take a picture. I think it's a bit weird. But maybe it's just me. Um, continue on here. Oh, she looks great. Is that? I don't know who that is, actually. I'm not sure who that lady is, but she looks awesome. I like that guy's suit, too. Um, Double-breasted, minus the collar on the shirt. Uh, suit with pinstripe with red boots. As you can see, there's a dog. Is that a sniffer dog for bombs or sniffer dog for drugs? That's the annoying bit of it. Let people have fun, man. Like, if they're going to take in a couple, you know, cheeky, class eyes, let them enjoy themselves, man getting dressed up all that time and squeezing into corsets that probably don't fit you and shit you should be able to you know have a little puff 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 in the, in the fucking toilet if you want to but i'm not sure if that's a bomb disposable dog off it probably is a bomb disposable dog right because there's you know there's tons of celebrities in there there's no way that they're gonna be able you know yeah you're gonna have to make sure that thing is covered from wall to wall because you know imagine imagine the insurance payout if any of those people pass away you know touch wood that won't happen but jesus christ they can't risk that at all uh, you got Tessa Thomas, I think her name is right. Tessa Thompson, right? the actress, the one from Westworld and Blood Orange. There, I'm not sure if they're dating, but they're in, in, in they're together in a warm embrace. I like Blood Orange's suit, sort of like a baby blue lilac number with pink, with a yellow turtleneck and the headscarf. Very nice color combo. I'm not really fond of her outfit, to be completely honest, but I love her hair. Whatever that's happened there is fucking awesome. Like um, she got up in a massive bob ponytail thing with is that latex wrapped around it, it looks like dread, it looks like a massive dreadlocks but all latex that looks fucking incredible i love that she looks really cool there um i forgot her name something uh ross right um diana ross's daughter with uh Gigi. um Gigi looks fucking incredible in that in that uh, dress i think that's something we've uh say was it i think that's Gigi Hadid, right? i'm pretty sure that is her um need to kind of state like how incredible she looks like you kind of forget how hot people are because you're so used to seeing them on social media but she definitely has an 80s 90s supermodel feel about her doesn't she like for the most part i think she looks really cool in kind of clothes and walking down the runway she looks probably of all the celebrity models out there quote unquote influence celebrity influencer models i think she just looks the most natural on the runway like you you think she she fits on the runway she looks like a, a model looks incredible and of course you know i forgot her name something ross but she looks incredible for her age in general she's kept herself in very good nick i'm not too sure about the frame that she's carrying all around her it would have been nice if someone had been able to make a rig that she didn't have to hold it up over her head but hey uh let her do her thing it's all about a show you know ba, 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 ba. what's going on here move a bit there you got Adewayu, some that woman, that girl, the English girl, right? Adewayu, I forgot her name, you pronounce it. Um, I'm not sure who the lady is on the left. That might be um, the Dutch model. I'm not sure who the one is on the right there either. Um, but all look really good there. Like the hat, of course, Katy Perry with the most. Cause she came in looking like a lampshade. Let her do her thing, let her cook. Not for me, but it's all good. 
again nice little looks here i like her dress as well nice and metal lena dunham and her mate look terrible um the, pff, it's christopher kane i'm assuming right that's why he's next to them i'm assuming it's christopher kane um it probably is custom christopher mccain but yeah i'm pretty sure it is because i remember seeing this as a long t-shirt dress thing so it was a pink one Lona and rubberist but yeah lennon dunham looks awful as per usual but you know let her cook again it's been a tough couple of years of her now it's actually an interview with lennon dunham um i think an uh, interview with him and what's his face uh who's interviewing him what's his fucking face man oh, he was on joe rogan recently but she had an interview and she sat down. I might have to listen to it because she's had a tough couple of years, isn't it? She's thoroughly been ousted. Um, people, people really, really dislike her. Even people on the left, even kind of work Twitter, hate her. She kind of, you know, I think when she did that whole thing, what was it? I think her one of her friends or somebody on her writing team accused somebody that she knows of sexual assault, and she went out of her way to back her friend. Um, and then it got proven that what the girl accused the guy of was true, and you know she ended up with egg on her face. Um, of course, the OJ Be o o OJ Beckham Jr. thing, where she was saying that he wasn't paying her, her any attention, or some shit. She accused him of being a bit <laughs> a misogynist. That was fucking funny as fuck. He didn't even know who she existed. <laughs> that was interesting. But yeah, um, she had an interesting couple of years. Uh, she'd been run through the ringer. Uh, she's still standing. She, I think she's got a show coming out soon on HBO. So it'll be interesting to see how the media kind of, you know, how she got, how she's treated on a press run when she's promoting it. But yeah, it's been a tough couple of years for her overall. Um, but I'm definitely going to check out that podcast if I can find out the name. Who's the name of the guy she's interviewing? What's his name, man? Under the Skin Guy. What's his face? Under the Skin Podcast. Oh, I need to find out what his fucking name is. Sorry. What's his name? Under the Skin Podcast Guy. I'm probably shouting the name now. I mean, uh, but I need to know. <sighs> Doesn't matter. Doesn't fucking matter. Continue. Um, here we go. <sighs> oh, I love this. This looks fucking cool. I love that. What is that outfit? Is that another Tom Brown? Yeah, it looks fucking gorgeous. I love that. Wow. Sort of like a long trench coat blazer, would you say? With some lace and an amazing portrait on the side there with the shoes. That was incredible. Wow. These people here on the side, these ladies here on the side, they're not press, are they? What are these the assistants of the people? Are they the event coordinators? I wonder who the people are on the left hand side, how that kind of works out. Um This outfit, oh that looks fucking awesome. I love that. That camp looks great. Looks like a kind of Pope sort of outfit, right? Well, I like that too, you know, suit with the trail along the the tail along the end of it, another one too. Tell them there, it looks fucking gorgeous. I'm sure some of these people, when they go to the event, they just help them out with the addresses and then just probably what hang out around the back. Are you allowed in with trainers and jeans and shit? Probably not, I'm assuming, right? I think Nicki Minaj's guy did come in in jeans, though. Oh, again, looks great there. I love that outfit. Looking at the Empire State Building, America, go America, America. This is a great outfit, too. Looks incredible. Even the assistant looks really good, too. I like the assistant's outfit. Great outfit. I'm not really a fan of that, to be honest. I'll take that one back. Oh, look at that. I'm a Barbie girl. She came through. Is that a, is that, what is that? Is that, a, is that a Porsche? I don't know what that is. That looks fucking incredible. She looks great who that lady is. Looks like literally looks like a Barbie doll. I'm pretty sure that's Moschino, right? Fucking hell, that looks great. Another great outfit here too. These two look really nice, like phoenixes. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, Janelle Monae of course looks awesome hats on hats on hats maybe it's a play on people always thinking that she's always wearing too many hats but she looks incredible wow I love this half and half that looks fucking great well done to her she smashed it Kim Kim Kardashian is probably the winner for me in terms of looks like a wet t-shirt look that looks fucking incredible of course Kanye came through in a clutch dickies fit but Kim looks fucking beautiful really really nice the makeup the hair the dress the nails like impeccable 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 head to toe again great outfit there again I, I like this I actually like, like his outfit too he looks fucking awesome there with the fucking massive cross great outfit there oh legs for days I like that outfit with the stars on it looks awesome it reminds me of that outfit reminds me of the, do you remember those Vietnam boots I think maybe the first collection on the runway maybe the second collection with the remember that collection with the massive uh bomber jackets they had like these boots there huge stacked up like sort of elton john style boots with the stars across it though she would look awesome with those boots on with that dress that would look really nice but i like those gold heels in general of course she looks fucking awesome i forgot her name but she was fucking great as per usual um 
Hayley Bieber again looks quite nice, but maybe not for me. Uh, Peter Dundas looks amazing. I love his suit, man. He looks fucking. He usually looks awesome anyway. Peter Dundas looks so great. <sighs> yeah, formerly of Pucci, the guy in the middle looks awesome too. After be honest, isn't it? It's that sequin pinstripe. Fucking hell. Anyway, loads of great outfits. Let's um, let's maybe hide this and go to the another article that maybe breaks down some of the outfits. Uh, theme smashers. This is from Vanity Fair, right? Vanity Fair highlighted some of the people that they thought who actually smashed the theme and did the best job overall. The campus of looks. Who did they? Who did they vote? Who did they vote? Oh, they they obviously included Harry Styles, who I was a big fan of. I think he looked really cool in his outfit too. Harry Styles, Janae Monet, Kim Kardashian, and Jared Leto. Um, number one they've got here is Joan Collins in Valentino. Uh, it's all right so far. I don't know. Not for me, personally. Harry Styles' outfit in Gucci looks fucking awesome. I think that sheer top, um, just peak, and then his his kind of shitty white trash tattoos peeking through looks really, really nice. It kind of looks like it was printed on the sheer. Um, again, it's a really good look. I think he really, really, really smashed it in that regard. Um, painted net fingernails too, with rings on every finger. Apart from the thumbs, looks fucking incredible. I love that. Uh, maybe just not found the shoes, and maybe the way it sits on him. Maybe in motion looks a bit better. But I think as an outfit, I like it. Um, and that was Billy Porter, right, in the blondes, looking like a, looking like an eagle. Um, and this is Janelle Monae in Christian in Christian Seriano. That half and half outfit, I really like the look of that. Um, Cardi B and oh, that was Tom Brown actually. Okay, cool. I was wondering why the assistants wear Tom Brown and she was wearing something else. Of course, it was all, it was all Tom Brown. It looked amazing. That whole entire outfit looked incredible. I was really a big fan of it. Uh, Jared Leto in Gucci, of course, not for me. Um, Ezra Miller in Burberry. Oh, that's Burberry. Wow. Okay, good to know. Uh, Burberry. Um, what's that? Um, what's his name? Ricardo Tishi, right? I like the shoes the most, to be honest. I think for the entire outfit. I'm not really fond of the corset on top of the suit jacket, personally for me. Um, Kim Kardashian in custom Thierry Mugler. He's not even designing. Look how ridiculous her body looks in this outfit. It's just incredible, man. She absolutely smashed it. Sometimes I think she looks more real and more normal wearing really, like, really ridiculous outfits than she does wearing, like, you know, regular clothes. I think that's why her body starts to look a bit abnormal, but... Just incredible how also this, this outfit looks, man. Everything about it just really accentuates everything that's nice about her body. From the breast to the waist, the hips, the legs, like wow. The naked the, the nude high heels as well look amazing. Are they easy? I don't know if they're easy or something, but whew, gorgeous. Jordan Roof in uh Iris Van Herpen. Again, another great outfit. I like that. They thought that she looked good. The campus outfits, really. Um Jemima Kirk and Lennon Dunham and Christopher Kane. Nah, not for me. I think they look horrible, both of them. Uh, Lady Gaga and Brandon Maxwell look number three. <laughs> yeah. Brandon Maxwell look number four. She smashed it. Four looks, man. Three, four looks in one outfit. So good. Casey Musgroves and Jeremy Scott from Moschino. Yeah, that, that was awesome. She looks, she essentially looks like she came out of a fucking plastic wrap, man. She looks fucking gorgeous, man. Stunning, 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 stunning. Custom Moschino. Last couple ones, Ella Fanning in Mew Mew looks incredible too, and Zadania in Tommy Hilfiger. She smashed it, I think. Um, I think she's been going for what is it three old years or two years? I really like the one she did last year, where she was sort of like you know in kind of an armor sort of garb. Look at someone that have Game of Thrones. I think she's done really well these last couple of Met Galas. Anyway, Zadania, she really she really knows what she's doing in that kind of um, LED Tom Ford. I think there was a there was like a wizard guy next to her, had like a magic wand, and kind of flicked at her and it kind of turned the lights on, which was awesome. Um, so yeah, everyone looked amazing for the most part. I think it was probably the strongest looks I've seen overall. I think maybe the past season looks were a little bit harder to kind of appropriate or to get on theme, but I think camp was maybe a little bit easy for people to kind of dial into. And overall, see some good looks, man. So yeah, credit to all these celebrities, man. You guys smashed it. If you wanted my approval, if you were there, if these celebrities were hanging around waiting, oh, I wonder why Agassino thinks about my looks. Don't worry, I'm happy with you, man. I think you, I think you guys looked did really well. You smashed it. <laughs> 